What's going on guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Yes, finally, I've taken quite the break. Uh, much needed. Uh, and I do apologize if I sound a little different. I am actually sick. Uh, I'm on my break, or not on my break, I'm on my day off. And uh, I decided I would go ahead and make a video on some of the things that have been happening here with my game. All good things, seriously. Um, the amount of support and activity that this game has been getting is absolutely crazy. Uh, so about two weeks ago, I think, right when I first released the game, I put out an ad and the numbers for concurrent players was just going up, 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 up. And it actually reached a point to where it had 210 concurrent players in the game at once, which is actually crazy. 210 all playing at one time. That's nuts. I, I can't believe that. Um, and then ever since then, I put out two more ads that didn't do very good. Now I haven't put out any ads in like a week. And today and yesterday and the day before have been crazy because we've been getting so many players like i think it said 2000 players a day that's like 2000 people that come in the game and leave all in one day which is still it's crazy and every time i look at the game it's got like 20 30 sometimes 40 concurrent players at a time and i'm at work and i'm freaking out i'm like oh my god my game is actually picking up and it's it's crazy cuz you know people actually like this game and you know i i wasn't expecting that i i wasn't uh, at least not from total strangers, you know what I mean? Um, anyways, past that, let's talk about the recent update that I have added. Uh, this is the fall update. I added it, uh, quite early. Uh, the initial release was supposed to be the 22nd when fall was actually supposed to start. Um, I added a few things like decorations, as you can see here, uh, nothing serious. Um, the one big thing you probably can see is the lighting. Uh, look at the leaf particles falling down. Sorry, voice crack. Um, being sick does not make that any better. Um, you can see some different color trees. Uh, it's not just red. We got your mix of the uh, normal trees, some orangish yellow, and that's about it. So, yeah. Um, and then I've added some small decorations on the inside of the buses small meeting like i added a pumpkin it was something uh, rather than nothing so speaking of buses i've added a 2024 bluebird vision that is that was i think that was the most voted bus that people wanted on the start um <clears throat> but i added the ce so i knew i needed to added that vision you know right after so we have it here and we're gonna drive it uh let's go ahead and spawn it in enough with the talking so all the visions are going to be 24 so if you if you aren't aware the first number is the year second number is the bus number um so 24 as in 2024 and bus number one and here it is it's going to spawn in a little slow due to my internet still waiting to get some new internet they're installing some like fiber stuff in my area we've already signed up to get it it's just I think it's waiting approval for something. Uh, so that should be on the way. And it's supposed to be really good. Really, really good. Okay. So it spawned in. Here we go. Um, so let me just pull up something really quickly. I know. I knew. I knew. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. So I also added a new game pass, which is pretty cool. Um, if we open the doors here. These This game pass will be equipped in all buses. So if we take a seat here. In the vision, it's going to be to our left. If we look down, you'll see toggle radio. Okay, that's going to turn on the radio chatter. Um, if you don't have the game pass, it'll prompt you to buy it. If you have it, all you do, hold E, and it'll turn on. Now, it's going to it's going to take a little, like, 15 seconds for the chatter to kick in, but you'll hear it. Uh, fun fact, it's actually the same one as NBC's. Uh, don't think I stole it because I actually uploaded the one for NBC. So there you have it. For those of you wondering. Um, also, uh, working Windows. Look at that. It has a nice little sound effect with it as well. I didn't know this. Um, I don't know which way the Windows are supposed to open. Um, 
you've got this window on the left here that slides right and then there's a window to the right that could have slided left i don't know which is supposed to open so if any of you know let me know down below because i'd rather it be that window the one on the right because you kind of have to look way over here okay we're gonna turn that off that's too loud way too loud okay so let's go ahead and start the bus there's a pumpkin there okay um now the ce actually has a working hood as well uh, i will show that at the end of the video okay here we go now there's also a corn maze that we're gonna look at uh, i'm not gonna complete it on screen because i don't want you guys to know the actual uh route to Oh, I got to turn that proximity prompt thing down. Oh, yeah. Going to have to uh, edit that where you can't see it this far out. Okay. But, I mean, this game looks beautiful during this, like, autumn theme, doesn't it? It really does. I know a lot of people have been wondering uh, why I haven't uploaded. Uh, that's just simply because I, uh, hold on, I got to sneeze. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sneeze, but I didn't. I hate when that happens. Okay, um, so why I haven't been uploading? Uh, I just needed a break, that's all. I wanted to focus on the update. Um, uh, work for those of you who don't know i started a new job it is like twice the hours uh and it's like not even twice the pay i need to be be, be i need to be being paid more but i'm not so it kind of sucks but uh it's a pretty fun job it's just very it's very crazy i don't know But here's the interior. I like the uh, vision better than the CE. But I mean, I, I still can't believe that this game like I refreshed my page and I saw it go from like a hundred players up to 160 players. And then I refreshed it one more time and then it went up to 210 players, which is crazy. I think that's just like Roblox's algorithm doing its work, which I mean is crazy. I don't know. I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's nuts. It is nuts. So let's see if I'm forgetting anything in the updates. Uh, so chat tags, right? If I speak in the chat, look at that, owner. So most of you guys, if you're in the group, you'll have visitor. I've yet to add one for guests. I probably should have put one in there uh, for people who aren't in the group, but uh, it's something simple. I actually might actually, I actually might actually, I'll probably add uh, right next to where it says owner, the chat or the, you know, your rank or whatever i might add uh your bus number that you have spawned in which would be pretty cool that way we could see who's driving what bus um but yeah that's something simple i wanted added Just a little easier to see who you're actually talking to i know a lot of you guys are wondering why you're all still visitors um I might actually change you all to bus operator. I don't know. Uh, I, I wanted to have like an application process for, um, hear me out. Uh, there's, there's going to be a game in my group. That's going to be kind of like a ranking center, but it's not a ranking center. It's going to be more of like, a you take a test and the test is sent to my discord and I review it. And then I rank you or I hire somebody to rank you. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. 
I might do something like that. Uh, because if I add, if I do a ranking center, I have to make uh, a bot or I have to buy a bot or something like that, something sketchy, and I have to give them ranking perms in my group, and I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that just yet. Uh, I might just actually rank everybody to bus operator and then make, I don't know. I'm still working out the whole progression thing. I really am. Uh, if you're still watching, uh, drop your level in the comments down below. I'm interested to see what everybody's level is. I know, I don't know if anybody's hit 100 yet. <laughs> uh, I haven't hit 100 legitimately yet. Uh, I gave that to myself. Because yes... What else what else what else what else uh that's pretty much it you know we got the autumn theme map the new game pass the new bus the chat tags um the working hood working windows that's it uh next update gonna add another bus uh it's gonna be a bus a lot of you guys I've probably been wanting very common bus what am I doing I got free cam why don't I use it there we go that'll work okay oh whoa Close them rights. Oh, also, if you guys didn't know, this bus does have the, uh, this thing right here. Where it, like, controls all the lights. I forget what you'll call that. Uh, is it a master switch? I don't really know. Look at that. It turns on all the stuff. In case you guys were unaware. Look at that. How cool is that? It's also got the wig wags, as you guys saw. Uh, it also has the... Uh, old timey fog light if I remember how to turn it on G yeah look at that so I think the new ones flash a bit quicker uh, I can change that within the bus uh, settings um, but yeah that's pretty cool so it's G to turn that on and if you ever forget uh, well there was supposed to be a controls tab but there's not in this model for some reason Unless I just can't see it. But it would usually be right here under the level. Uh, and I think K is the windshield wipers. Still working on that rain. Uh, also, it's got high idle. If you press J. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's a CE exclusive, I think. Uh, oh, no, you have to be neutral. Wait, am I in neutral? There we go. You hear that? You have to be in neutral and then you have to press J. And then there we go. We turn it off. How cool is that? So just some very small features. I don't plan to have anything, you know, locked behind ranks or game passes you know when it comes to buses you know i'm buying these huxley buses stock and i'm you know just basically saying here you guys go you can drive these for free um if i have a game pass bus it's gonna be one that's you know probably just uh how would you say it um i actually proposed on making a flat nose game pass which would include about two or three flat nose buses um but that was with me saying i'm gonna have at least one free flat bus that or flat nose bus that everybody can drive you know and then the other two will be behind a paywall uh, i would never make it to where you know you would have to 
apply the game pass to drive a flat nose bus. No, there can be a free flat nose bus you could drive, but if you want to drive the other two, those are going to be behind a paywall, you know. But I don't, I don't know about that yet. Uh, what I am certain about is if I were to make like a propane pass or like an electric, that would be a game pass. Um, same with like uh, handicap buses, shorty buses. I'd probably include one free one and then the rest would be a game pass because I, I do want to, you know, I do work on this game quite often. So, and it's just me. So, you know, I, you know, all... I, I want to make some money where I can, okay? You know? Which I'm happy to say, the uh, CB radio access has been doing great. You know, a small fee of 25 Robux, I don't think is too terrible. And I've already made over... Well, I probably shouldn't even... I'm not going to announce how much I made, but it's... It's... Four digits, quadruple digits. Is that the correct term? In just a matter of like three days? I don't know. Whenever I drop the fall update. Okay. Uh, let's go to the elementary school and then drop these students off. And then we are going to uh, drive by that corn maze. So right now, I think the game has about five people playing. Um, a lot of people have been buying private servers. <laughs> I almost wish I... No, I think private servers need to be free for all games. I almost said I wish I made those like 10 Robux, but no. No, private servers have to be free. Come on. I mean, it's, it's, it's a place where you can go to play the game on your own time. You know what I mean? without any interruptions. So I think everybody deserves that. So that's why I made it free. Mm. Uh, there's been people commenting some bugs and stuff, uh, saying buses don't despawn when people leave. Uh, I tested that out with me and my friend, you know, I made sure I said, leave the game. I want to see if your bus despawns and it did. So I'm wondering if it's just having an issue with all the players in the game at the same time or what, because, uh, they should be despawning. And if anybody has any help with that, like, cause I use the Huxley spawner. So if anybody has any like experience with editing it, let me know down below. Uh, that would be very helpful. Um, because I know it has a despawn function upon leave. It's just probably not working the greatest. It probably needs some more, what would you call it? Um, some more, I don't know. Look at the elementary school. Look at that. Let's see how many people are playing. Hold on. There are seven people playing. Wow. Wow. And uh, <clears throat> I've been thinking about expansion too. You know, the map's a decent size. It's not too big. Uh, the one thing I know I need to do is get those field trip destinations in there. I know that's that's something I got to add because, you know, you want to go different places. So here's the uh, corn maze here. So if we pull in here. And there's some parking spots. All right. Okay. 
Come on, get back there. Okay. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Close. All right, there we go. All right. So here's the maze entrance. Okay. Now, when you get in here, it's going to put you in first person. So watch. Look at that. And you can't get out of it. So <laughs> how cool is that? Um, so I'm not going to show you the route, but uh, as you can see, it is a corn maze. Well, it's not really corn, it's wheat, but uh, I did with what I had, right? Um, and it, and it, it's a little tricky, but uh, this takes you actually out here. Don't ever go that way because it's not going to go anywhere. Um, but when you finish the maze, okay, you'll receive a badge. And then to, I recommend resetting after you finish. Uh, it does put you back into third person mode, but then I figured when you try to go right back through the maze and get back out, it's going to put you right back in first person mode when you cross that line there. So you'll reset. And then, uh, oh no. Never mind. Resetting doesn't work. <gasps> no. So you have to leave the game. Oh God. Hold on. Ah, okay. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back, and it's dark. Uh, one thing I did forget to tell you guys, if you be quiet, you can hear the night ambience. Ambience, whatever you want to say. Uh, it's like little crickets. It's very cool. Uh, that only happens at nighttime, and the lighting actually does change a bit at nighttime. It looks a little weirder. Uh, when the sun rises, it kind of shifts, uh, if you notice. But uh, let's go ahead and spawn in the CE, and I can show you guys the operable hood. Uh, which is very cool. Let's give it a minute while this spawns in. There's a help tab here. It still has nothing in it. I wanted to add like uh, how to spawn in a bus, how to despawn a bus, but I uh, haven't gotten around to do that yet. So, but as you can see, it does have a uh, an engine on the inside. Um, come on, come on. Oh boy, <laughs> my internet is slow. All right, so if you come to the front of the bus and you click the hood, look at that, pops right open. It's kind of cool for like role play purposes. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see the headlights are kind of out of place. Uh, that's due to where they're located in the. A uh, bus model. Uh, I can't put them in here. I don't think because then they won't be. They have to be like in a lights folder or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You're not gonna have your hood open for like the majority of the game, so it doesn't really matter. Also, I'm probably gonna have these openable. I don't know if there's anything on the inside. I don't even actually know if they're uh, actually attached or if like they're a part of the mesh. Hopefully, they're not a part of the mesh. Then I can't have them actually open up. Uh, which would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Same with this as well. I don't know if that'll open either, but uh, same with this. Okay. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this update down below. I'm, I'm still working on the game a lot. Um, and this is, you know, this is just the beginning. If, if it continues to receive support like this, I mean, I can see myself working on this every day. Um, and, uh, yeah, so if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. Um, I mean, it seems like everybody's playing it right now, so you're missing out. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, please do like and subscribe. I'm going to try uploading some more. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, first, I'm going to try to get over this sickness. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.